And that is, I believe, indeed what happened. Let's see. Sup Suns. Yes, they met in the semifinals of the winner's bracket. So here we go. This is going to be the grand finals, a best of seven. Now, don't forget, if Select and Optic Zero lose, it's done. Assassins is given the victory. But if they win, they have to win a second set after that um, in order to secure the victory because Assassins has not lost, has not dropped a set in this series. Uh, or in this tournament, I should say. So here we go. We're going to get things started. We're just waiting on our teams to jump in. The first map is going to be Twilight Fortress. Don't forget to check out the Prodigy Team Star League guys on all their social media devices. Find them at twitter.com slash prodigy TSL, facebook.com slash prodigy team star league, uh, youtube.com slash prodigy TSL, or wellplay.org slash PTSL. You can also find them at PTSL.tv. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> and he kicks my desk. As hard as I possibly could. That's good. All right. I'm more concerned about the desk than your foot. Oh, yeah, of course. I was trying to destroy it. <laughs> I failed. All right, so we're just waiting on our teams to jump in now. I believe that everyone is online. Obviously, we know Sup Suns is right there. There we go. There's Cats and Druby. They're being invited. Looks like they are going to be Team 2, of course, which means I'll have to switch Select and Optic Zero into the top on Team 1. All right, and we're going to have Complexity Druby. Difficulties. I remember the IPL1, like... Street Fighter intro thing. Oh. <laughs> Root cuts. Root kiwi kiki. It's the only one I really remember. <laughs> E.G. Idra. <laughs> and here we go. It's going to be select an optic zero. Oh, select can't pick blue or light blue. Assassins were in the lobby first. Aw, sad stuff. Oh, so his red that I already have selected here is actually going to work. Until he changes it. That's true. <laughs> it is. Pink and red versus light blue and blue. Twilight Fortress yet again, same PT versus TZ, although this time the TZ has proven that they don't lose a lot. <laughs> so this could be a great series. Okay. I think, I think uh, the winner's bracket one actually went 2-1, and that's where Subsuns realized that uh, that Phoenix and Banshee setup was really pretty potent. That was yesterday. Oh. <laughs> you always do that. I have the one backwards. Well. Hey! Ah, oh! Hey. <laughs> Apparently, this was the wrong map, so we're yeah, going to have to switch. It's not going to be Twilight Fortress. That's okay. I'm all right with that. And I, I, I believe Select and Optic Zero will probably be all right with that as well, since they just played on Twilight Fortress. Tarsonis Assault, though. Individual. Uh, ramps. I don't think that they're going to like this too much, but they did hold off. Um, Optic Zero and Select did hold off a Hellion plus Zergling rush. Uh, excuse me, from Team EG. It looks like Deconstructed is fixed and will be the map after this. Select, ooh, actually took... Oh, they switched on me again. Hello, hello, wells. Yellow, select is blue. Update player info, bam. Wait, nope, now Druby is light blue. <laughs> Ah! Optic Zero is still pink, though. I can always count on that. Are you sure there's not going to be a bunch of drones? <laughs> Should have someone go test. Uh, any chat people, go go watch. Uh, actually, make a game on IC Cup Deconstructed and let us know. <laughs> let, let us know how many drones you find there. <laughs> but uh, this is going to be game one of the grand finals. Um, set one, I suppose, in case there is a second set. That'll mm -hmm. be grand final set two, but it's a best of seven series, and Katz and Druby are on a roll already today, 3 0 Team EG, so they're probably in pretty high spirits. They did defeat this same team, Select and Optic Zero, yesterday, so they should be feeling uh, pretty comfortable moving into this first game on Tarsonis Assault. And Druby is once again ready. He's, uh, he's, just, he's just making sure we know. Thank you, Druby. Appreciate it. Very mannered. And we're going to get things started as soon as Select comes back. Apparently he needed to step away for just a second, and then we should be good to go. And hope you guys have enjoyed all the commentary from myself and Josh. If you have, you can check me out at twitter.com slash catspajamassc2. Do appreciate all the followers I get. You can also find me at Facebook, YouTube, and justintv.com slash catspajamassc2. I'm Ask Joshy or Josh Sov. You can find all my stuff on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube.com slash Ask Joshy. That's Joshy with a Y. 
because uh, Ask Josh was, believe it or not, taken on YouTube <laughs> back in the day. Oh, Cats Pajamas was taken everywhere. But so. now now I've evolved into Joshy, so I've, I've owned it. I've, <laughs> I've claimed Joshy as my own. It separates me from all, uh, me and all the other inferior Joshes in the world, which is all of them, except Prodigy. He's okay. He made some cool maps. <laughs> he did make some cool maps. These have been very impressive maps, I must say. So here we go, folks. First match of the grand finals of the BTSL Season 1. Here at the uh, bottom left-hand corner, we have Complexity Cats. He is spawning as our yellow Zerg player. His teammate from Assassins is Drooby, also from Complexity. He is our light blue Terran player. Their opponents here in the top right-hand corner and cheesing Perhaps. are our pink Protoss player, FXO's Optic Zero. And also from Sup Suns, we have Dignitas' Select. He is our blue Terran player. What are you going to do, Optic Zero? Are you going to drop a forge at home and cannons abroad? Or are you going to do two gateways? Are you going to do something I've never seen before? Probably not, but there goes that pylon in between the naturals of like Cats and Druby. And that's a decent spot, because no Overlord's going to go over there. And Druby, if he were to send a scout, scouting SCV, would cut around that area, so... We'll have to see how effective it's going to be. Select, are you going to join in on the cheese as well? Have you even built a supply depot? Yes, yes he has. And now he can build a barracks basically wherever he wants to. Soon he will have the minerals to do it. Two SCVs coming out of Druby very quickly, though. And <laughs> it looks like we're going to have a double cheese... Uh, extravaganza going on here. This is fantastic. I, I like what Select and Optic Zero are doing here, though, uh, because so far Assassins have steamrolled everyone who has tried to do conventional play or just cheese defense, someone who wasn't hourly as aggressive as they were. So Select and Optic Zero are saying, we can play your game, let's give it a shot. So there's two proxy barracks and two proxy <laughs> gateways, making some sort of a weird face that appears, eyeballs, nose, mouth yeah, guard. Yeah, weird face. Um, and we do have the proxy two racks coming out of Druby as well, back on Cat's side of things. Looks like he went for that same uh, nine pool, nine gas sort of build that we've seen out of him this entire time. We do have, oh, look at oh, that. Lord. Cat sees it. Oh, we geez. do have our first uh, Zealot being warped out at this time. Druby's going to try and make his way in and do as much damage as he can. He'll be able to take out one of these SEVs, I believe. Maybe. Oh, but they slide themselves to the sides. Got there it. we go. Select is going to be able to come back now and finish up this uh, barracks. He does have his first Marine coming out. Second Zealot on the way now for Optic Zero. Katz already has six lings and Druby has two marines, but he's sending the marines up to Optic Zero's base most likely. Uh, no, wait, those are the SCVs that actually finished the barracks, and they are rallied into Optic Zero's base, though. Uh, this Zealot Marine SCV combo heading over into Katz's base. Did he build a spine crawler? It looks like he did just cancel one, or maybe that was even, I'm not even sure what it was, could have been a roach worm, but uh, spine crawler number one complete, spine crawler number two complete. There's no queen there, obviously. Uh, that would take away from spine crawler minerals, so they're just going to change directions and head into Druby's base. He is not going to have any queens or spine crawlers. Optic Zero has a ton of probes already uh, defending against this bunker that uh, Druby tried to place. But uh, these, oh no, this Overlord is going to get popped as well. That's going to set Druby and Cats back even further. The liftoff is a nice touch, but uh, Select's Marines can actually still fire at that. Cats going to join his teammate Druby inside of Optic Zero's base, and we basically have a full-on base trade at this point. Yes, we do, as a matter of fact, but Cats is going to have to remain relatively... Ooh, he's going to have to hold his position, though, and he's got four spine crawlers, so he should be able to do it for quite a while. He's just going to try and be, um... Wow, this is ridiculous. Be okay. aggressive. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Be aggressive. As much <laughs> as he possibly can, we're going to see if Optic Zero can hold this off. We have Zerglings ah! being brought in here, <laughs> but at the same time, nope, there's no way that Select and Optic Zero are going to be able to bust their way in and just engage these spine crawlers straight up. They're going to have to start picking off one at a time and work their way around the semicircle, but Katz is pretty well defended. <laughs> He's going to be able to produce lings. At the same time here, though, we have all of the workers for Optic Zero going down. Optic Zero did manage to get a couple of zealots up there to reinforce, and it looks like Optic Zero and Select are going to have to pull all of their units back because Optic Zero could find himself dead here in just a second. Uh uh, man, Druby just drilling away at that Nexus un <laughs> undefended. Uh, Select did lift his command center. He's only got a supply depot left in his main. Not sure where the command center is headed. Actually, to the gold. The SCV's already lying in wait. Druby has moved over to the gold of his own, and all his SCVs are occupied right now. They're trying to kill off his opponents. Optic Zero is going to find this orbital command with the mule. Mule cannot defend itself. Oh, no, poor little mule, but... Uh, Select and Optic Zero do have quite a few units here still, and if they manage to corral Druby and Cats inside of Optic Zero's former main, this could get hairy for uh, Team Assassins. 
yeah, this is bizarre, to say the uh, least. Uh, looks like Cats ooh. is bringing back a few <laughs> units to go after these gateways here. Um, and all of these spine crawlers are starting to move themselves to the front. Cats has done nothing but produce Zerglings this entire time. Um, it does not appear as though Optic Zero is going to be able to produce a Nexus for quite a while. Uh, we're going to need to see a lot of resources transferred over by Select. He is 